Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sarika, and welcome to No One Survives. So it's a new survival game that has just appeared on Steam out of nowhere. Usually when these survival games come out on Steam, either no one plays them or they have really bad reviews, but this game is something different. And we do play a lot of survival games here on the channel, so I thought, why not check this game out? So without any further ado, let's hop in it. The zombie virus broke out. You lived in the shelter for three years, but the resources of the shelter were gradually exhausted. You were exiled, and then you can only survive in the apocalypse by yourself. So let's click here to continue and there we go. We are inside of the game. So this is what we look like. Okay. I literally know nothing about this game. I've never launched it before. So I have no idea what to expect from it. I just do know that a lot of people kind of enjoyed it. So I want to see what there is to it. There was like some sort of a tiny boot camp, like some sort of a tutorial that you can finish in a few minutes. And there they kind of teach you how to craft stuff. So by clicking tab and in the top left corner, we can open up the crafting menu by clicking on that hammer. And there we go. Here we can craft a stone X. And to grab the stone axe, all we need is just two stones and one wooden stick. So let's sort of find ourselves a wooden stick. There we go. There's our first stick on the ground. Let's get this one. Let's get another one. Okay, that's not another stick. So let's go over here. Maybe we shouldn't be crafting an axe first. Maybe I should be crafting a wooden spear first. But I think we can craft both. There we go. Let's craft ourselves a stone axe. It's kind of weird to say. It's not axe. It's X. I don't even know how to pronounce that. There we go. Let's get that stone X. Let's also get ourselves a wooden spear. I think it's going to be very useful against the zombies. If there are any zombies in these buildings. There we go. We've gotten here ourselves a spear. I'm pretty certain we can poke the schmucks with a spear. There we go. That's pretty nice. And we also got ourselves a hat. I don't know what kind of trees we can chop down. Can we chop this tree down? Okay. Let's just do it. For some reason, the animation kind of reminds me of Ark Survival a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Again, I'm not going to test it. I'm pretty certain if the tree falls on my head, I can not get hurt. So I kind of don't want to test that out. I'm going to chop this thing down even more. I think that's what's going to happen. There we go. We just got these logs. Can I smash this log even into smaller pieces? Probably not really. We can just pick that log up. It doesn't even fit. Okay, I can't even pick it up for some reason because it doesn't even fit. Well, whatever. At least we have ourselves here the spear. So let's hop into these buildings. Maybe let's get ourselves some new weapons. Some whatever we're going to find here. We've played dozens and dozens of survival games. We know what's going on. We know what kind of loot we have to search for. These trash bags. Okay, cannot loot the trash bags. So far, I don't see here a single soul. Cannot loot the trash can. Cannot loot anything here so far. There's a rabbit. I mean, we could maybe hunt a rabbit, but do we really have to do it right now? I don't even know if we have the thirst. Oh, yeah, we do have the thirst and hunger meter. Once we click on tab and down left corner, we can see what's going on. Okay, so for now, I'm not really that thirsty, not that hungry. Everything's fine. Cannot loot this crate. Thought maybe I could do it. There's a vehicle. Okay, we can loot the vehicle. Uh, long press to search. Okay. Let's... We have already gotten guns? Excuse me, I've gotten a scar. Can I add it to the quick slot? No, I cannot add it to the quick slot as we have to add it here to the backpack probably first. What is even this thing? Oh, that's us. Okay, the zombie kills and other things. Technology that we can learn. Okay, I didn't even know that. Okay, that's cool. Whatever, let's just close it. I think it's gonna start raining. Whatever, we gotta get these guns. I'm gonna drop some of these stones because it looks like these stones are gonna be kind of easy to get. We have uh, this weapon and uses 9 mil bullets and this thing uses 5.56 bullets. This item cannot be equipped there. Maybe, oh, I get it because we can only add it to the weapon slot. There we go. We can only add it to the first slot. I see what's going on. I see it. Check this out. I can get this axe and maybe it's even gonna fit here in the inventory except I cannot really turn it around. I'm clicking all the button shifts and other things like, oh, there we go. It fit somehow, some way. Let's get now this spear. And there we go. Now we have a spear on the second slot. We have this scar on the first slot. And inside of the backpack, we got this axe. Okay. We've added an axe to the third slot. That works. The rain is incredibly loud. It does feel like rain. It does feel like it's actually raining here. But, dude, it's so loud. It is super loud. We've gotten some uh, wheat wine. We don't need that. I want to get this gun. And let's see how many bullets we got. Cannot reload. We don't have anything. Okay, whatever. Let's put it back. We got to find some bullets then. Can I search the hood? I mean, we can probably do it. We've gotten some car parts. Thank you. Let's search the trunk. Nope, cannot search the trunk of this vehicle. And nothing here so far. I'm kind of curious how long this rain is going to last. Because it is... I would say it's pretty atmospheric. The rain is pretty cool. The rain definitely gets my approval. We've gotten here another shotgun that I cannot take. So it looks like there are lots of guns in this game. But it doesn't really look like we can get lots of them. As we don't have a backpack, we got nothing. There go a bunch of these crates. The crates were absolutely empty. Again, this game is pretty new. It just came out. So it's kind of sad that we cannot see these guns and these weapons on our back. But whatever. There we go. We are on the street now. We've left the, those kind of buildings. And let's see what this place has to offer. Totally don't trust it. It's going to be really hard to hear any zombies. 
If there are any, what are these things? There we go, a bunch of crates. These crates were empty. Let's search this stuff. There we go, empty as well. So how on earth we've gotten that many guns in these vehicles, but here we have nothing. An electric furnace. What? Let's get that electric furnace for now. Oh, I see what it is. I see it's an electric furnace. It's not just an icon. It's like, it's from the top down view. I see what it is. It's an electric furnace. Okay, cool. I see what it is now. I don't really know if we need that electric furnace, but whatever. There we go. That thing is looted. Let's quickly search the vehicle. As it looks like these vehicles have a decent amount of loot. There we go. We've gotten absolutely nothing. And hey, while we're going to this other building, smash that like button on the video if you'd like to see more survival videos here on the channel. Thank you guys for all of your support. You are amazing. And now let's hop into this shack over here. And let's see if there's anything that we could pick up. We could maybe get this clay with a pickaxe. But I don't have a pickaxe. And I don't even know why I need clay. And again, from that very short tutorial, it also looks like it's possible to build things in this game. I'm not really certain, but I think it is possible to build stuff. I don't even know if there's a map. Oh, there is a map! This is so cool! Whoa! It is pretty huge! So we are currently located... Current coordinates 1819708. So we can see these merchants on the map. This map is awesome. This map is huge. It does look pretty cool. Wait, I want to go back on the road. I want to see if there's anything else here because I don't want to leave this place like this. I'm pretty certain there's more loot here. Okay, maybe I can loot the, the front. Probably we're just going to get some car parts. We've gotten some large bottle, delicate parts, car parts, and aluminum blocks. Cannot drive the vehicle and cannot loot the other side here. Cannot loot that compartment. I see a zombie in front of us. I don't know how strong that zombie is, but I kind of don't want to fight it yet. Don't want to find out if I had a pistol, maybe if I had a bow. I think it is possible to craft a bow, no? A rough wooden bow. We need plain fibers. I have no idea how does one get plain fibers. Maybe we need a knife or something. I don't know. I'm going to get here a spear and I want to see if there's anything else in this place. Okay, there we go. Let's loot everything. All right, we've gotten some bullets. We need 5.56 five, ammo. We've got a 9mm ammo, we've got a shotgun ammo, and a bunch of other ammo. Again, it's not... All of it is not gonna fit in our inventory. But I think we can get rid of this electric furnace, correct? We've gotten these weapons. And how about I go back to these cars and I get something better? Because we had a shotgun there, so maybe I can drop this gun that I had and maybe let's get a shotgun. Or the other weapon that used those 9 mil bullets. Maybe we could do it. Anything useful? Nothing. Nothing in the wardrobe. I want to get some clothes. Nothing, nothing. There we go. That thing is completely looted now. I think we have more cars there. This is so cool. Okay, I want to hop into this building. I want to see if there's anything else here. Hello? Can I open the door? Maybe I can enter it from the other side or something. There are some more buildings, but I, I want to go back on the road. I want to see if we can find a better weapon because we have a bunch of bullets now to whatever weapons, but I don't have a single gun. Let's loot the chunk. We've gotten a huge backpack. There we go. Let's get it. How does one equip it? Do I just drag it? Um... Oh, there we go. Just equipped it. This is epic. We've already gotten ourselves a backpack. So now we can store many more things. Just check it out. This thing is huge. This thing has lots of and lots of stores. That's awesome. This is bloody lovely. Okay, I have no idea if my character... No, my character is still pretty fast. Maybe a little bit slower. I don't know. Anything in the front? Nope, we cannot loot that. Let's check this thing, if we're gonna get anything useful. We've gotten some delicate parts, we've gotten a car battery. How heavy is it? I have no idea, I'm just gonna take it into the backpack, why not? And before we go into these other buildings, I wanna go back, because there were a bunch of vehicles, and inside of those vehicles we have gotten something. Wait, there's a car that we can repair? We can get fuel, wait, what? You can actually enter the car, there are actual vehicles in the game. Excuse me, how does one repair it? What do I do with it? There's durability. Put in a car repair kit to repair. Reset position. We can take out fuel. We got no fuel. We can drop here a car battery, perhaps. Whatever, I'm gonna keep it for now in this vehicle. Why not? Maybe one day we'll come back here. I don't know. I don't even know where we're located. Maybe we need to get, like, some sort of a GPS thing to see. Oh, there is... There am I. I, I see myself on the map. There, guys, there we are. This is our position, so I know where we can go. This map is massive. This map is huge. There's also a crashed plane over there. This is actually epic. Whatever, I want to get some more weapons. There we go. Let's quickly loot that stuff. There we go. There's this gun that we had before. It uses 9mm bullets. So let's get now this car here into the backpack. We're going to add this thing over here. And I think I can load it up. There we go. We can load up this weapon. We've got in here 17 bullets. Uh, I'm not gonna say no to that. And I think one of these other vehicles had a shotgun, so why not get that shotgun? There we go, there's the shotgun, I finally found it. Let's get that shotgun. We've also gotten here another scar that I already have, so we don't need one more scar. Totally not gonna get it, so how about we drop this weapon in our backpack? Let's get the shotgun. 
And I want to load up the shoddy. And there you go. Once we have the backpack, we have these weapons on our back. That's cool. There you go. Let's load that weapon up. And sadly, I won't be able to add more guns to the quick slots. I cannot add that thing to the fourth slot or anything. And I don't think I'll be able to add the spear to the other slot. Well, I can add the spear in the backpack. And I can add this gun to the second slot. So now I have two weapons. So in case things go south, I'll be able to use this weapon over here. I'll be able to shoot them. And in case if things go really, really south, we'll have here a shotgun. Okay, cool. So I guess it's time for us to go into these buildings. And wait, we are on the road. Let's open the map so we can follow this way. Or I'd actually probably love to go that way. I'd also love to get a car repair kit. This way we'll be able to travel. So we have here a tech tree. How does one learn things? We can get a pressing table, these things. How do I, does one craft a bed? Is it possible to get a bed? There are lots of things and it's a bit complicated. There are skills. Learning conditions are not met. Oh, we can build this thing with the hammer, it says. Okay, cool. Whatever. Let's just go further before the night comes in. I don't even really know if it's possible to sleep or not. There's also a merchant in the middle of the woods, in the middle of nowhere. So, do I really want to go to that merchant? Maybe. I want to see what that merchant does. I also want to fight at least one zombie here. I want to see what they do. I want to see how strong they are. How about... Oh, wow. It's going to be so hard to get that headshot with this weapon. I don't see anything. It would be better probably to do this. Like, I just got it. It just destroyed it with a headshot. The dude just disintegrated and we've gotten... A trash bag and we've gotten some claws. Okay. There we go. Another headshot. Okay, that's cool. It's kind of weird how they just drop those trash bags, but I guess that's fine. I see another building up there. So we could go towards that building. But I kind of want to see if there's anything else we can find in these buildings. Because there's this door and I cannot... Oh, I could... you just have to push it. You just have to push the door. What an idiot. I'm an idiot. I thought you have to click it. All we had to do is just push the door. Then we would have been able to enter that thing. Can we leave the fridge? Okay, we've gotten some meat. Except it's probably raw. Everything is raw here. We've gotten a radish. It looks like a carrot, but hey, let's get that thing. And we've gotten here some corn. Let's get those things. I mean, I'm, I might even get that pork, but I don't really know where we're going to cook it. We've gotten some more food. There we go. Let's definitely get that food. This place has so many things to get. We've gotten a magazine. We've gotten some delicious canned meat. Let's get that delicious canned meat. The game just became dark really, really quickly. We've gotten some canned peas. And it looks like we could increase some brightness. So let's just increase this thing a little bit. There we go. It's a bit better. We can see now a bit more. It's still kind of dark, but at least I can see where we're going. I want to loot here another building. I'm going to whip out a weapon in case there is a zombie because I think I saw a zombie here once. If it was possible to sleep, I definitely sleep. And these nights are probably going to be kind of long because it's only 9 p.m. So it's going to take forever. All right, we've gotten some more bullets. Let's get all of them. Do they even stack? Yes, indeed. These bullets stack here. That's awesome. Let's get all of that. That was definitely worth it. It was worth it to come to this building. We've got an even more ammunition. Let's get all of that. Maybe I can reload it. Oops, clicked the wrong button for the flashlight. But let's loot this huge cabinet. We've gotten some clothes. Let's equip this. Let's get a woolen hat. How does one equip it? There we go. Let's equip this and let's equip the hat. There we go. We finally got some clothes. That's epic. Let's see if we got anything else inside of this building. We've gotten a jacket. Maybe I can equip it. So check this out. This t-shirt has defense plus 15 and cold resistance plus 10. And this thing is defense 14 and cold resistance 35. So we're going to get rid of the shirt. We're going to equip this jacket as it looks like this jacket is way, way better. So why would we get that shirt? We've gotten here a med kit. I think we should get it. Let's get here. It says a strap. I'm going to just say probably it's a bandage. It's a tiny bandage. All right, let's loot the desk and let's go outside. We have a shoulder light. Ooh, can I equip it? Will they allow me to equip a shoulder light? There we go. We got a shoulder light. It's low battery. It is low battery. We got to find some batteries then. Okay, roger that, sir. So now I'm thinking maybe we should actually start going that way and we'll get into another building. Then we'll cross the bridge and then we'll go somewhere else. Or we could go lower into this other huge building. I mean, there are lots of things that we could check out, obviously. But I don't even know what place would be better to loot. Okay, those were just crickets. I want to go and check out that other building up there. As it looks like there are some zombies and we've gotten some bullets, so I might as well just check it out. I have no idea how it's like to fight them with a melee weapon. I don't know if they instantly kill you if there's like some sort of an infection or no. Okay, the zombie just survived. There we go, we got it. It exploded. Plus, we made some noise and other zombies started chasing us. Hello, sir. Okay, still alive. There we go, now the zombie's dead. Let's get another trash bag. We've gotten a bottle of something. A pathogen. 
Okay, whatever. We've gotten a pathogen. My dude is very thirsty. We gotta go up here because we can see that in the down left corner that my dude is thirsty. So we'll have to find here some water. And yeah, I still have no idea what can we do with this pathogen. Like, do I eat it? <laughs> Obviously, I don't need that pathogen. Well, no, mm, a pathogen. How about I eat it? I'm curious how it tastes like. It is really dark here. Even when we've brightened some stuff up, it's still kind of dark here. All right, there we go. There are these crates that we can loot. What do we have here? A toolbox. I'm going to get this toolbox. It fits here kind of nicely, so I will get it. We've got an aluminum block. I don't really know if I need these aluminum blocks. We've got some oil coal and copper blocks i don't know if i want that as i don't even know what those things do so why would i take them does that make any sense we've gotten here a pickaxe mm -hmm. that i can probably take with me in the backpack there we go we've got an aluminum ore and this huge crate of things that's empty we've gotten an iron sledgehammer and an iron axe so maybe i can drop this one here and i can get an axe to the third slot there we go that mm -hmm. is a lot better we've gotten ourselves a bit better axe We've gotten more oil, more charcoals, more toolboxes. Iron hand knife. Can I get it to the fourth slot? Nope. Can I get it? An iron dagger. Yes, indeed. We can get that dagger. Well, maybe I'm going to get the machete in the backpack because it looks like the backpack is really huge. It looks like we can store here lots of things. There we go. We got a few more boxes to check out. We've got a steel training guide. What does it do? Okay, I, I don't know what to do with that steel training guide. So we've gotten here to this building. It seemed like it was kind of pointless. So maybe we should go to this crashed airplane over there. What's the time? It's almost 2 a.m. So yeah, let's go towards that airplane. We got to head that way. Let's go there and then we'll visit this place and then we'll go to whatever that is. Like some sort of another outpost. I don't really know what kind of things I can sell to merchants, but I'd love to buy some water because my character is very thirsty. I mean, we can see that this thing is red now. 19 out of 100. We gotta drink something. And the merchant has gotta be around this place. We are very close. This map is pretty huge. Like, it is really massive, I'd even say. All right, so I'm pretty certain the trader's gonna be inside of this building, and it's 3.16 a.m. now. There we go. That's gotta be the trader, except how do I enter this place? Is the trader sleeping? There we go. Welcome. Welcome. I want to make a deal with you. I have some good things here for you. I want to learn skills with you. Okay, I have some good things here for you. Let's say I'm gonna give away the steel training guide. I'm gonna give th this thing away. I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't even know what. What can I give them? A pathogen. Pathogen gives nothing, basically. So how about I give that stuff away? And I want to make a deal with you. What do they have to sell here? Corn wine. Maybe I should get it. Wheat wine. Maybe let's get it. Maybe that's the only drinks that we can get. Let's get that. Maybe I shouldn't have confirmed the transaction. We got a toolbox. What if I give them a toolbox? Okay, the toolbox is way more worth it. At least it looks like it. We can buy little boar so we can buy a pig we can buy those uh, little rams and other things okay well how about i get two bottles of that stuff and i give you this and that's still not enough how about i give you let's say pork is that that better no that's still not enough how about i give you bread that's almost good and then i'm gonna give you corn and that's better whatever let's say it's, it's all right let's confirm the transaction i got some things to drink hopefully the vision is not gonna go blurry or anything I just want to restore my thirst. There we go. 33. That's a bit better. There we go. Let's get another drink here. Okay, so we should have taken those drinks from the car then. Okay. Whatever. I'm not that thirsty anymore. Do you have anything else to sell? I mean, you just have these things and that's it. And apple and other stuff. Well, whatever. Thanks for the drinks. See you later. Probably just got scammed there for sure. I just gave her random things to increase my reputation for no reason. So we are kind of close to the crashed airplane. And it's 5.45, so soon we'll have to decrease the brightness as it's going to be probably too bright. And there we go. There's that crashed airplane. I see a boar. Maybe. I don't know how much damage we can do to that guy. I'm going to start shooting it. I have no idea what that is. How is that pig still alive? There you go. We got that pig. Whoa. That pig was serious. That pig was definitely, definitely, definitely serious. Do we have anything with it? Can sharps required? What if I get this thing? And nope. I have a knife. There we go. We go to knife, ladies and gents. Well, there we go. I've just harvested the boar. We've gotten an insane amount of pork. Yikes. Maybe later on I'll just sell it to another trader. And I see another zombie over there. So I've just set the brightness back to default. And let's see what else we can do here. Whatever. I, I thought I heard a footstep over there. Oops. Missed it probably. There we go. Got this guy. Nice. These weapons are kind of quiet. So yeah. Okay. No useful items found from that guy. 
Okay, whatever. Let's loot the military bag. I just got some sort of a military bag. What is it? What was in that military bag? I don't see it. Have I equipped it or something? Where is it? Nothing. Backpacks, other stuff. What was in that military bag? Oh, there is it. F more, use it. We can... This is the military bag and this is our backpack that we got. Which one is better? What if I drop this thing on the ground and I equip this military backpack? I think it's the same size except it looks a bit cooler. But I think other than that, it's the same. I'm not a peasant. I'm actually gonna take everything into this military backpack as it does look cooler. So I want to get it. There we go. Let's get the pickaxe and that's it. That's what we're gonna take with us. This is all the loot that I got. I don't think I need anything else. Whatever, let's just go. I've definitely spent here way too much time sorting out those backpacks. But we finally did it. All right, nothing there. Let's see if we can find anything else in this crashed airplane. Perhaps we've gotten a solar battery. 300 watt solar battery. I guess that's cool, but... I don't think I'll ever use it. There we go, another suitcase. Thank you, but no, we've gotten some new pants. The defense plus 18 and cold resistance 45. And 18, 45. Okay, so these are the same exact pants. Don't need more. We've gotten a small water bottle. That's gonna be very worth it. I need some more energy. So we don't have enough energy. So maybe it is possible to sleep. We just need to find a way on how to sleep. Whatever, let's drink some water then. There we go, can I drink more? There we go, we can drink some more water. That's good. I just don't know how does one sleep. Because I am losing energy, so there should be a way to sleep. Absolutely. So that's something else that we gotta figure out. Maybe we gotta build like a bed or something. I have no idea. Whatever, there's another suitcase that was empty. Anything else here in this thing? Nope. Just coffee beans, some more delicious honey sauce, canned meat. I uh, will get that canned meat over here. It does fit. And perhaps there's something else here, because look at this. There's another suitcase nothing here we can find more food and plus we've gotten an svd that is kind of cool it uses 762 ammo we do have probably some 762 ammo there we go we got 22 of that 762 ammo how about i drop some of that meat because we have a lot of it i really don't need all of it there we go we somehow some way fit this svd in the backpack now let's get the machete and i lost the pickaxe oh no it does fit there we go it still fits so if we'll ever require we'll be able to use that svd oh wow we've gotten an insane amount of bullets here let's get all of these bullets Except they don't even fit, so we probably gotta get rid of all of that meat. Okay, that's a lot better. Gun oil. That's literally WD-40. <laughs> I can see it. But no, let's get that gun oil. What else did we get? 9mm ammo. Okay, cool. Let's get that. And let's probably leave this airplane. It was kind of cool. I think we've gotten a decent amount of items, and I don't think we've looted even everything yet. But there are some more boxes over here. Maybe we'll find something decent. There we go. We've gotten some more bullets, more gun oils. So it is probably possible to build a base. So I think we need to start building a base and we need to start storing all of the loot that we've gotten. Because it looks like we've gotten a lot of it. There we go. There's another box that I haven't checked out yet. And inside of this box, we got nothing. All right. So let's open up the map now. Let's see where we are located. Okay. We are over here. So I think we could go that way. Ish. It's... 10 a.m. So it's still morning. So I think we should head that way. It looks like there will be a few buildings. So I want to check those buildings out. And look at the energy in the down left corner. It's yellow and it's blinking. So that means I need more energy. How does one get that energy from eating? Maybe I can eat this delicious canned meat. What if I eat all of it? Maybe my energy is going to go up. As it says that it had some buffs. There we go. I have increased my energy. So maybe some of it goes up. I don't know. We have more food. Let's try to eat it. Okay, so we can eat it while walking. That's great. There we go. We've gotten some more physical strength. Okay, so that's physical strength. I see it. Oh, I see. So food gives us physical strength. Maybe we don't have to sleep. Maybe there are no beds in this game. I mean, I've seen a bed, but I don't think we can sleep in it. So that is interesting. Let's now check this place out and then we can go even lower. Maybe we shouldn't go up there. I mean, there are lots of things that I'd love to check out. I mean, this map looks really awesome. I really didn't expect this map to be this, this huge. Even though, again, this game has just come out. Obviously, there aren't lots of things to do here. I'm not saying that, wow, it's the best game that I've ever played, but... I'm glad to see that at least this map isn't small. I'm interested to see what else developers are going to do with this game. I don't even know how many people are working on this game, but it's pretty cool. Nothing over here. Okay, we've gotten some more of these toolboxes. I still don't have a slightest clue what you can do with those toolboxes. Not a slightest clue. Nothing here. And a gas stove. Oh, wait, we've gotten something in the gas stove. Condenser. Don't need to get that condenser. That's a lot of wood. I don't think I can get any of that wood. There we go. We cannot get any of that wood. Maybe I need to craft a hammer for sure because after I craft that hammer, where is it? There we go. With the hammer, maybe I'll be able to craft this pressing table. So this is maybe like some sort of a workbench. And then after that, we can unlock other things like more chemical reaction benches, pharmacy benches, 
wooden box frames, etc., etc. We can also build a furnace there. So that's why there are those aluminum ores and whatever other ores, as there are lots of things that we can do. Okay, is there anything else in this building? Looks like it didn't have a lot of stuff, but we can go that way, or we could go that way. I have no idea. I want to check this thing out first. All right, so let's try to loot the back of this vehicle. And I kind of like the way this vehicle looks. I don't know, there's something about it. Like that vehicle covered with green moss. I don't know, it's, it's kind of cool. It looks very post-apocalyptic and I like it. Let's get that. We've gotten here some more pistols. Dude, I don't have space to get any of that stuff. We got some leather. Maybe I'll get that pistol instead of that leather. Can I oh, I can add it to the fifth slot. This is awesome. Let's quickly reload that. And there we go. We've gotten ourselves another pistol, ladies and gents. Perhaps I can even get one more pistol there. Wait, let's go for it. I'm gonna hide the pistol now. I've put it back in my pocket. And let's open this thing up and check so I can add another pistol to the sixth slot. I got two pistols now. Maybe I'll be able to sell it once we see another merchant. And another merchant is over here, so we should go towards the merchant, but we'll have to cross the bridge, but there are lots of places to loot. Dude, this, th this game is pretty huge. I'm telling you, there are lots of and lots of things that we can do. I didn't expect that there will be that many things to do, but probably that's why this game is mostly positively reviewed, because a lot of the survival games that come out, they might look the same as this game, or they might look better. I'm not saying that this game has the best animations that I've ever seen, but what it does have is a huge map, and uh, when a lot of games come out, they don't have that huge of a map. But yeah, I'm probably gonna go that way, and then we'll go towards the merchant following that road. I think that'll be kind of smart. And hey, continuing the topic, sometimes when some survival games come out on Steam, a lot of them don't have a huge map, a lot of them don't have lots of things to do, but in this game you have this entire map to explore and it's gonna take you a few hours to do so and... I guess that's kind of cool, that's some sort of content. But hey, whatever, all that stuff aside, let's go towards the motel. It's kind of cool, it looks very post-apocalyptic, very atmospheric. Like this thing could be like in a trailer or something to this game. It looks cool, like this road, the motel sign, and there is a zombie. I haven't used a shotgun yet. I want to know how it's like to use a shotgun against these schmucks. So let's get closer, and let's see if this guy's gonna say hello to my little friend. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. The dude doesn't even see me. There we go, we just destroyed it. Kind of cool, can I reload it? As we do have more shotgun shells there we go let's get that and let's see if this zombie has dropped us anything we've gotten no useful items so now we have this entire huge place to loot i mean let's quickly check it out there's a zombie inside of this building okay i will try to get it i mean it's kind of hard to shoot it that way yeah it's probably better to just shoot it that way it's probably better to hip fire okay the doors are locked they're bulletproof dude Got him. Got him. Let's just destroy the stuff. Oh my goodness! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, that was bad. That was bad. We've gotten here some sort of an infection. We've gotten an infection. Did not sign up for that. We have a zombie behind us. And perhaps I can reload the, the gun before that other zombie comes after us. I have no idea how to deal with the infection. Okay, this game was pretty calm and it became pretty crazy. Whatever, let's loot these guys. We've gotten some of that stuff. And how does one deal with the infection? Okay, wait, I'm gonna show you what I've just seen there because I don't think you've seen it. So check this out. It says here that virus antibody, if the antibody is zero, it will die. So basically, it probably says that I'll die. But what do I have to do? Do I have to use a bandage or anything? We have a medical kit. We can get some more health. And what about my health? My health is dropping, so perhaps I can use this med kit. Maybe that's gonna help me out. There we go, I'm still losing health. How do I heal? What do I do? How do, how do I survive? My health is dropping rapidly because maybe I got hit by a zombie. Maybe that's what's going on, but I have no idea how to get rid of that infection. The thing is just going lower. Look at this, 90 health. We're gonna die. Maybe if I find some antibiotics or whatever, maybe only then I'll survive. There's my character damage, rigidity, knockdown, and there's nothing that I can see here. I mean, this place is not gonna be a hospital, correct? So I don't think we'll get here any medicine, unless we can get some medicine. Maybe I can clean myself up with that bottle of water. Let's try to clean myself up. There's some dog food. Didn't really mean to eat that dog food, but we just did. And I think another zombie is just following behind me. Maybe also I got another bandage. At least I had another bandage. I don't have it now. There we go. There's a zombie. There we go. We got this dude. I don't want to die yet. We just got to a cool place. 
And my health is dropping rapidly. It's at 45. Uh, maybe some medicine in the car. There we go, another med kit. So maybe I can use this one. Maybe that'll do something. Has that stopped the bleeding? No, that did not stop the bleeding. Let's get another thing then. There we go, my health is at 82 and it still keeps dropping lower. And it doesn't really look like I'm... Um, healing myself up or anything. I don't even know where to get medicine. Maybe this store can have some medicine. Another magazine. But I don't think this store can have any medicine. Oh, actually, there are things. Look at this. Look at this. There is some medicine, maybe. Or maybe I'm just bamboozling myself. Maybe we can drink this, whatever we've just got in there. I restored my thirst, and my health is still dropping rapidly. We can get some more physical strength from that, from whatever meat that I've just eaten, but it doesn't help at all. Well, I'm gonna go outside, then. I'll reload the weapon again. And I guess we're gonna count our last few minutes, but this place is so awesome. I wish we spawned here. This thing looks amazing. This entire town is epic. We've got another pistol. Hey, that's great, but there's nothing I can do with it. There are more buildings. Maybe some of these houses have medicine. I'm just double, triple checking if I got anything useful. Doesn't really look like it. Well, there's a zombie. The head is just exploded. Maybe I should have popped that pathogen. Maybe pathogens help you out. We have 37 health. Oh, my health has stopped dropping. I don't know why. But my health is not going any lower. Excuse me, sir. Why is it? Why did that happen? I'm not going to say no to that. We are alive. <laughs> Ladies and gents, we are alive. We have survived. We have defeated the virus. Maybe I shouldn't be speaking here too early. We got this thing to eat. Maybe let's eat more stuff. Maybe this way we'll get some more energy or whatever. And that's how we survived. I don't know. Whatever, we're not hungry. Hygiene affects the chance of zombies discovery. Affects the chance of warmth and in wound infection. Okay, we gotta clean ourselves up as well. Let's get the gun. And we get these schmucks first. Uh oh, I'm just using these bullets left and right. As there's no tomorrow. But ladies and gentlemen, we have survived. My health is at 38. It went up from 37. It became 38. Maybe because we've eaten something. Maybe that's why. High speed internet, it says here. Cool. This place kind of reminds me of... Uh, wait, I've forgotten the name of that game. We've gotten some military bags. Thank you, I don't need any of them. Because we already have some sick military bags. And my health is at 39 now and I haven't eaten anything. So the health does go up now. This is nice. There's also the motel that we can loot. And the game that I was talking about, it's State of Decay 2. So yeah, this game kind of reminds me of State of Decay 2. Maybe, maybe the backpacks are kind of similar or something else is kind of similar. I've made probably a few videos on State of Decay 2. And we've gotten another med kit. Let's try to heal up. And will the health go down with it? Or no? It stays at 84! This is sick. So it did work, ladies and gentlemen. We have survived. Our character is still alive. Again, we don't know what's going to happen here. I mean, zombies might just come behind us. But all I can tell you is that we are alive. And that's all I need to know. Let's hop into this motel. This is actually beautiful here. Like, this game looks way better here when there's grass and everything. This game, like, looks... Really decent. Like, this game looks nice. I'm not gonna lie. Let's get it. It's not perfect. It's not the best creation, obviously. But for a survival game, it looks decent. I like the atmosphere. I like this motel. So let's hop over here and let's see what we can find here. I still don't have any shoes. I still forget that we need to push the door. Let's see. What do we have here? Some more foods. A compressed biscuit. Because that's cool, but I don't think we need it. Let's just get these canned foods. As These canned foods are really nice. They give us strength and they give us lots of other things and don't give us the thirst debuffs. So I think this is the best food for us to eat. Let's quickly try to sort some of the stuff out, perhaps. And let's get this canned vegetable meat. Let's get that. Uh, coffee beans. We don't need that. We need a plastic bottle. There we go. Let's get it. We'll be able to drink some water. Okay, okay. Not that bad. Let's hop into another motel. Okay, no zombies here. But perhaps we can get some loot. There we go. Look at the amount of food we have here. That's food for life. That's like seriously food for life. We need some more energy. Let's try to eat some of these things just to restore our energy. There we go. Our energy is at 72. And I think we can eat one more. I don't even know if we have to heat that stuff up. I don't know how does one heat that stuff up. We need to maybe craft a hammer and then we'll unlock some things. I don't know how does one craft a campfire. I'm a noob. I don't even know if it's possible to craft a campfire. Maybe we really need a building hammer and then we'll be able to craft a campfire. Maybe this game doesn't have campfires. I have no idea. We got another can of veggies and another pistol. I mean, we already have lots of those pistols. 
Maybe we can take it with us. There we go. I think, does it fit? No, it didn't. Okay, so the pistol doesn't really fit in our inventory. Maybe if I moved some things around, maybe it could fit better, but whatever. When we get to the merchant, we'll probably sell some of those things. And let's get another can of veggies. Look, there's one more room. Maybe there are two more rooms, actually, in this motel to loot. More pistols! That's a lot of pistols. Wait, this is a bit different pistol than we got. I can drop this pistol over here. And uh, we can get this pistol. There we go. Let's get it. Now, let's loot this place and let's see if we got anything. Nope, sadly nothing useful. And we have one more part. And we have one more room here to finish looting. We've just gotten there some shotgun shells, some 556 ammo, more ammunition. And I cannot even reload this weapon anymore. And it's kind of getting dark again. It's 6 p.m. We are getting more bullets. Sorry, this motel wasn't bad. Would be really cool if we could just sleep. Like, drop here on the bed and sleep. So let me know what you think about this game. No one survived. I do think that this game has some serious potential. And if you'd like me to continue with this game, because there are still lots of places for us to loot, this map is still huge. We've just barely scratched the surface. Then let me know that in the comments down below. And smash the like button on the video, because I'd gladly go and explore the entire map. And I highly suggest you checking out my State of the K2 Let's Player. Click on the second card and look my Days Gone Let's Player. Hop over to my channel, go to Playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that are played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to drop a subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos and consider following me on instagram or twitter at epicyric mm -hmm. yep